What I want to show you today is what I consider to be one of the main reasons to use Crystal, the Crystal programming language, for your backend, is that it has so many functionalities already implemented in its standard library. For example, the bcrypt algorithm is implemented in Crystal, and so I'll show you how to implement authentication without using any external modules. So let's start with a pretty basic example, uh, which for which we'll need a bcrypt password. This is all part of the standard library. Then we'll also um, import UUID, just to demonstrate a basic example of how it would look like. And the spec uh, module to test our code. So let's start with our user store which is supposed to be simply a list of users to represent what we would normally do with a database, but here we just do it um, in memory as an example. So we have a users list, which is a list of users, uh, of user, and here <coughs> we have a user class, and there we, for example, have a user ID, which is a UUID, and a Password, uh, which is a hash, um, stored as a string. And then we also need an initialize function for these, like so. And then what we want is we want this user store to be able to log in a user. So let's say we have a login function that is supposed to accept um, correct passwords. So we have a user store that we create here. We create a random user ID, then just to prepare this test, we maybe want to sign up a user, right, with this user ID, and we want to give them a password, right? So we also need a sign up function here. And then we'll test whether we can log in here. With one, two, three, four, five, six. And we expect this function to return true. So, our sign up function, all it will do is it will take a user ID and a password, which is a string. And it'll create this user for us, right? So it's supposed to create a new user, and this needs a user ID, which we already pass in, and the password hash, which we don't have yet. So the, the way we get it is by calling crypto decrypt with a small c password dot create password. And then we can give it a cost as well. By default, it has a cost of 11 um, for the bcrypt algorithm. Currently, it's quite slow in Crystal, but we could, for example, give this a cost of 12, uh, which makes it more secure. This would also need to be defined here. And this will also generate a salt for us so that the Cache cannot be um, guessed with a rainbow table. Then we have created this user, but of course we want to also put it into our array of users. And this is the sign up function. For the login function, what we want to do, we want to verify this password. So we have the same sort of interface. Mm. 
And we cannot generate the password hash just yet because we still need the salt that's stored in the user store. So what we need to do first is we need to find the user given their user ID. So we're just running find here and comparing the user user ID to the passed in user ID. So we pass in here, right? And then once we've found this, oh, of course, we are missing do here. And uh, now we'll, we'll need to take this password hash that we've stored in the user object and verify that the password that we're passing in actually would result in the same hash. So the way we do that is by creating a new password, this, can be crypt password, password, and then we call new, pass in the stored hash. We have this password hash here. Um, and then all we need to do is call verify um, the, uh, the, the passed in password. And of course, uh, we might not actually be finding the user here, so we we'll return false unless we have a user. This should already do the trick. Uh, what's missing here? We're missing a do. And then we we'll run crystal spec here. Expected argument to user new to be string. Oh, yeah. Um, this doesn't work like this because we actually need to convert it to a string. Mm. We do not need this expect here. There we go. We have successfully logged in our first user. Um, now of course, we can also add another test that checks that it rejects wrong passwords, like so, for example. One, two, three, or let's let's say wrong password should be false. All right, false. Run this again. There we go. 